College coaches receive hundreds of emails a month and some receive hundreds of emails in a week. So we want to make it as easy as possible for the coach to learn as much about you in a short amount of time. Therefore, we create a profile for you. Now I'm going to show you how to make your own profile using RecruitRoot.com. It's totally free, so let's get to it. First, I'm going to show you an example of a good profile, and then I'm going to show you how to create your own profile, specifically using the site RecruitRoot. Um, so with college recruiting profiles, there are tons and tons of different websites. I'm sure you've heard about them. There's a lot of different options. Some of them cost money, some of them have a free trial, some of them are like free basic profile, but like once you put your SAT scores or if you wanna see stats or anything like that, you need to pay. So there's a lot of different options. More or less, they're all going to have the same stuff. You can put your video on there, put your contact information, bio, list of accomplishments, you know, your SAT scores, club information, contact info, all that good stuff every single profile is going to have. It's important to have a profile because it makes it really easy for college coaches to see everything in just one link, as opposed to a resume that you're restricted to just one page and also it's um, like a PDF or something that they'll have to open. This is just a lot easier. It's like a one-stop shop. They can see the videos and everything on here. You know, your picture, which is really nice. So we're using Recruit Root specifically to make your profile or just for the sake of this lesson, we're gonna use Recruit Root. But if you feel comfortable, if you wanna use a different site, you most certainly can with using College Coaches. Uh, for our homework this week, uh, send it to us through Recruit Root Profile and we'll edit it through Recruit Root Profile, but you can use everything that you learned and just copy and paste the information into any other profile that you have or that you wanna use. So with that being said, I'm gonna show you an example of what college coaches want and need to see in your recruiting profile so that they can get the best sense of who you are. Um, picture, pictures and videos, and they really like to see a nice headshot. Don't do an action shot because they can't get a sense of what you look like. Make sure you have a nice smile, make sure it's clear, and that you have good energy in the picture. And for videos, right here you can see I only have a skills video. Um, college coaches also really like to see a highlight video as well that should be at least you know two or three minutes long, definitely no more than six minutes long. So college coaches like to see those videos in your profile. And then of course your personal contact information. You have your name and I recommend like if you have a nickname, let's say you have like a really silly nickname that just your friends call you, don't use that. But for example, my birth name is Victoria and no one calls me Victoria. Like my coaches and friends, no one refers to me as Victoria. It's only on my birth certificate. So um, with the college recruiting pro uh, process, I only went by Tori to just not confuse anything. I wanted to be Tori Witcher. I didn't want to have like Victoria in some places, but people calling me Tori. Um, so anything I filled out was always Tori Witcher. So kind of stick to that one name. And then for your email address, make sure it's your own email address. Never ever use your parents' email address and make sure that it's a simple email address. I highly recommend it has your name in it. And don't do tons of numbers because that can also be confusing to look at too. Um, they usually wanna see your parents' name, date of birth, your height, sometimes your weight, and your cell phone number. And again, make sure it's your cell phone number, not your parents' cell phone number. They like to know what position you play. They like to know what other sports you play. That's really important to them. And in your bio, this is kind of like in business we call your elevator pitch. It's a way for them to get a sense of who you are outside of just watching a video of you play and outside of just reading your resume. It kind of like is the all encompassing words that tie you together. Who are you? You know, that's kind of a, it's a simple but pretty deep question. So I recommend thinking about words that really describe who you are and how, how are you different 
from your teammates? How are you different from the other girls on the field? How are you, you your, your unique individual on the field and also off the field? You know, for example, I have the word passionate in here. I have uh, something unique about myself is I've had the opportunity to train in Europe um, and explain why you like that. Um, something that you're really proud of, for example, MB MVP of my season and top score in the league. Some other words that describe you and make you different. Coachable, hustler, you know, lethal in the circle. Um, and also the why. Why are you looking at playing in college? What are you looking for? And also you can be specific with that. If you're looking at a nursing program, this is right around 95 words, but try to keep it no more than 95 words. I would even try to limit this and remove a sentence in here. And uh, it'll be hard because you're summarizing yourself in like four sentences, but uh, you can do it. So then we go on to your list of accomplishments and specialty camps. That's really important. This particular site asks if you're a futures participant. If you don't fill that out, it won't show up. And then what years you're involved in futures, and then if you were selected for nationals from there. Um, again, if you weren't, this won't show up so that they won't be reminded that you weren't. And your year of graduation, of course, they always like to see that. One common complaint I get by coaches is that athletes don't make their year of graduation readily accessible. They find it like they kind of have to dig to find out what gr grade that person is. So if I were you, like put it on the subject line of all your emails, um, put it on the signature of all your emails, and then in the first sentence of the email, put it, put your grad year. Um, and then of course it's listed on here and also boop at the top as well. They of course want to know your high school, and they also want to know all of your academic information. So that of course is your GPA and they of course want to know your SATs and ACTs. If you're not old enough, if you haven't taken those or if you're not proud of it and you're waiting for the retake, try to put your PSAT scores or pre-ACT scores if you have them. For the younger girls watching this, try to take your PSATs and pre-ACTs as early as possible. Uh, what that does is it allows the coach to get a good sense of, of where you are at academically to see if they can get you into the school. So that's something that's really important, especially for the more academic schools. Like for example, there's a handful of smarty schools that the coach, the athletic department doesn't have too much of a pull with admissions. So therefore it's really important for any, any athlete they're talking to, to have pretty high GPA and scores. So that's why it's really important. So the more information they can know about you, the better it is in finding out, you know, where you're gonna go and if you're gonna get an invite onto their campus. They also wanna know any academic honors or any other information outside of sports. That's really important to them. They love seeing volunteering, anything that you've done, fundraiser, honor roll, valedictorian, and they also like to know your interested majors. That's actually really important that a lot of athletes leave out is what major they wanna do. Just an FYI, there are certain majors, for example, nursing's one of them, that Division I programs won't allow their athletes to do, and that's because those classes interfere with all the practice and games, so you just, like, scheduling-wise, you actually can't do both. That's more on the rare side, but it is something important for you to know. Also, a little trick of the trade is if you're looking at a school, you can go into their uh, the team website's roster, and you can click on one of the athletes in the roster, and it has all their information, including what major they are doing. So if you really want to go to, let's say, Harvard, you can click on every single girl on the roster and see what her major is. And if you see three of them are nursing majors, then you know that you're all set and you probably come do nursing there. And of course, any extracurriculars that you do, because life is more than just school and field hockey. And then we have your school team information. Usually, if you're getting recruited, they want to talk to at least one of your coaches and get a referral from them. Um, and then, of course, your club information as well. Uh, so 
that's really it. I mean, there's not that much information. Probably the hardest part is just making sure that you have two good videos up there and also just really sitting down and thinking about a good bio. I recommend having at least one parent, one teacher, and at least one coach reviewing your bio and helping you write that. Again, it has to be your voice, but have those mentors helping you write that. And okay, so next I'm gonna go into how to make this profile. So if you don't have one of these profiles already, go to recruitroot.com and this top bit right here, that's just like my admin in the background, so you will not have that. And then click on register now. I already have an account, so it won't let me create one, but it's just gonna bring you right here and then you just select that. If you already have an account, you press login and put your username and password. And then you click select and then you create, it's really simple, you just create a username, password, um, and that's really it. You are not allowed to be 12 or under, FYI. So you have to be 13 years or older to use this site. And then you click I agree, you submit it, and then you, you're done. You just start creating your profile. I actually helped design Recruit Roof. It's all field hockey specific, obviously, because it has questions about like futures and very Phil Hockey specific things in here. How you send this to college coaches is you copy and paste this link. You can send it to anyone. You can text it, email it, send it to anyone, and anyone can access it. It uh, does not require a password on their end to view your page. So it's literally like your own website page. The reason why I designed it this way is because my friends who are college coaches, one thing that I would overhear them complaining about was how there's like 20 different college recruiting profile sites that exist now, and they need a username and password to access basically all of them. So when a college athlete sends them their video or their profile, they need to log in to that company's recruiting site before they can access that athlete's information and if they can't remember their password or if they're on the if they're on their phone or if they just don't have an account with that profile site they can't see your information so for me that's like a barrier of entry and when it comes to marketing yourself and promoting yourself and having college coaches see you there should be no tech barrier of entry so you just copy and paste this right up here and um, boom easy peasy and anyone can see it to edit this recruiter profile all you need to do is click on edit and you just click on these blocks right up here. So first personal information, you just edit right there, pretty easy. And then you click on player information and you edit it all there. And academic information, it's really easy. It also has um, an option for upcoming tournaments. If you do that, my one suggestion is make sure after the tournament that you immediately edit it so that college coaches aren't confused. So you can put like your upcoming tournament times and stuff like that, which is really nice. And if you do want to add, edit or update, add any videos here, click just click on media. And you can choose to change your video thumbnail as well. It's really easy to upload. You can even um, title it with a description. So it's pretty easy peasy. I'll just show you again. You click on edit here and that edits all this information. And then for videos, you just click on media. Um, and then you can also download any media. Um, that's what we do in Europe. So in Europe, we create skills videos for our athletes with Eurotour and then we upload them on the back end to this page and then parents can download them directly from here onto their computer if they choose. So that's about it and it's really easy to just send college coaches your link and all of your information so that you can get recruited and open up all your options. Okay, 
So that is it. That's how to create your own college recruiting profile. And it's also showing you what college coaches want and need in a profile. And yeah, this will just set you up for success. And if you have any questions or tech issues or suggestions with the site or anything like that, let us know. And also let us know what you think of the Recruit Root site. If you like the other sites better and why, if you like Recruit Root better and why. Again, you don't have to use Recruit Root. It's just another free option. But yeah, let us know your thoughts and opinions. We'd love to hear from you.